Hey guys, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome to another episode in this how to grow on YouTube video marketing advice tips playlist. Today I want to talk about why you don't need your own audience or why you don't have to have a bunch of subscribers to get views and a kind of a different way to think about it that I think will really help you. So the reason you don't need to have a huge audience or build your own audience from scratch to get views is that audiences already exist. There's already audiences that exist out there that you can simply leverage so you don't need to create your own. For example, on my channel, I started out teaching Photoshop and then I started teaching video editing, so photo and video editing. And you think, yeah, I mean, clearly I did not invent photography. I didn't invent videography. The audience for these hobbies and these activities and these softwares already existed. And when I first started my channel, I just enjoyed posting things on YouTube and sharing. And uh, one of the things that I did that I think has helped me is before even starting my channel, I took a look at what already seems to be having an audience on YouTube at the time. It was, I, I saw that people enjoyed Photoshop content. I enjoyed using Photoshop and creating designs. And I thought, hey, I could teach this. Seems like there's a audience for it. And it'll hope and possibly can get some viewers and subscribers. It was like a fun experiment to me. And I think that was an important mindset to do it. I didn't just try to create something from thin air you can call it market research or, or whatever you want, but there's there's clearly already an audience. So the work that I, I didn't need to do the work in making a million people interested in video editing, uh, that already existed. I simply became an authority in this space and leveraged it because of my unique combination of whatever you want to call it, natural born talent, um, luck, timing chance and skill that i decided to continually make videos around this content i did have experience um, i am an experienced editor i've been editing for a long time i am a capable teacher so these are all things that work to my benefit and i decided to pursue this and built authority in this topic that already existed and now i kind of do have a subscriber base you want to call it but really you know people aren't subscribed to me they're subscribed to learn about things that they're already interested in and there are exceptions to this like if you're an exceptional personality or an exceptional musician or thinker or entertainer then people might then you might be the audience people might be interested in you but a great way to look at it if you don't have subscribers is to leverage pre-existing audiences, whether that's a certain genre of music, a certain hobby, activity, um, bike riding, tech reviewing, watches, clothes, fashion, sneakers, video, photo editing, cameras. All of these things already have a large audience and you can simply participate and make your voice known and if you're capable skilled chance and work hard enough you can perhaps become an authority in that and you know mix together different interests of yours so that's my that's my thoughts on that it's just an interesting topic that i think is useful to consider when you're thinking about how to grow if you enjoyed this video check out some of my other videos on how to grow on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.